The bitter local leaders explained that the main aim of splitting MPG into other districts of Gomba and Butambara was to ensure that better services like that of education are offered, resulting into improved performance. However, over 8,000 people sat for their primary living examinations last year, but only 474 people passed in grade 1 and 2. This has got a district concerned about what could be happening. Area members of Parliament Sarah Nakaonde and Kyoga MP Anthony Okello opposed government decision to hold the UP program despite the fact that it has some general weaknesses to be ironed out. Me, I would support UPE, that, that program to continue because we have seen that the number of pupils who have left their homes to go to schools, the, the, the number has grown up. We are seeing less pupils, less, less pupils in their homes. Most of them have gone to schools. So the number has grown up. If the, that program is scrapped, I think the numbers will go down. But now it is going up because of that program. An enabling environment should be put in place by government so that performance can be able to be realized, not only in Piggy, but even in a Molata district where I come from. Currently, we are benchmarking with districts like Mpigi that is relatively performing well, but eventually we hope to reach where Mpigi has reached. Although the district education officer Jason Tindagire admitted the poor performance in government-aided schools, she also noted that poor private schools have also contributed to the failure rate in the district. To boost the morale of pupils in the government schools, MP Sara Nakawunde rewarded those students who excelled in their PLOE. The best performing students got different items, including mattresses. <laughs>